afternoon, my friends. How are you all? This is the How to Craft Network Studio. We had a few um, technical issues just to start with then. We have still got some technical issues. We are going to iron them out throughout the show. I didn't want to leave you waiting any longer thinking, is she on? Is she not? What's she doing? I bet she's eating a Kit Kat. I'm absolutely not. We were trying to sort out the promotion. And I'll talk you through that in a second. My name is Tony Darrick, and this is the fabulous studio where you can come and get some lovely inspiration for your card making craft scrapbooking whatever your genre may be hopefully i can incorporate something in there for you so you can be creative at home if you are watching it is lovely to see you all i have been seeing that you've all been chatting there if you are not a subscriber please subscribe to our channel this gives us a wider reach and it gives you all of those lovely notifications when we are live so as you all probably know now, we are streaming on several platforms. So if you think I'm shouting out to somebody who's not on the mainstream chat, don't worry about it. They may be on our Facebook chat, on Stamps By Me, and also on our USA fan page as well. So all of you know that we um, did go global a couple of weeks ago, and it's we've taken the world by storm. I cannot believe it, how much positive um comments and feedback i've had from people across the pond it's been amazing so we've put a few changes in place to accommodate those people as well um, and i'm also going to be incorporating some later shows in the day so our usa fans can watch as well so you still get the one o'clock show but i'm going to be doing more so uk fans you're going to get me probably two or three times even more than normally so i will do a shout out in a second i am going to get straight into the show um, and I will talk you through what's going on. Then when I get to the other side to demo, it'll give um, Tim a chance to just shot, sort out a few of the issues we've got going on. So in the show today, I have put something completely different together, together for you. And it's card. Now, this is a lovely cascard uh, paper from Linda Chapman. And I think she launched it about a year ago, too. Um, and it's just a lovely collection of cardstock and the colour wave's just incredible. Now, if you're topping up on your cardstock and you don't have some colours of some, I've put these on at a cracking price for you today. Um, as individuals, the promotion, as you can see from the screen there, says buy three, save 10%, and that's on all of the cardstock. However, it's not working. Okay, so if you do want to pop them in your basket, we will give you the nod when it is working, okay? I won't remove any product from anybody's basket if you do like any of the items in the show. The buy three, save 10 only applies to the cardstock, okay? So maybe you're wanting to top up on some Christmas colours, some pastel colours, some tones, some earthy tones. You can absolutely do that in show today. So let's have a look at the first item on the counter, which is this fabulous one here. So this is your autumn collection. They are all the same throughout, so they're all A4. They're 225 GSM, so they'll cut perfectly. You get 48 sheets, eight colours, five of each colour. So you can see sort of a, a little, little helping guide on the front here with the colours there to show you what are in there. So this item number, if you like these colours, is 100394. And today in studio, if you are a club member, it's £11.39, which is an incredible, incredible price. And obviously, if you are accruing those points, you're going to get 20% off there further. So that's another £2 off if you are at those savings. And um, if you buy the three, you're going to get that extra 10% off. So these are an incredible value. Let me just show you the colours on the back. So you get that red, that brown, that sort of coffee cream, a light ca caramel colour, a creamy colour, a sage green, a purple and a yellow. Love, love, love this one. I love the autumns. I have, I have got some favourites and I will tell you why they're my favourites. This is one and the last one, on the uh, second to last one's my favourite as well and I'll explain why. So that's your autumn collection, 100392. I am taking them off the counter as we go simply because I do not have the space. <laughs> so the next item on the counter, I'll just push this one forward. Here we go. So this one is your next one, 100395. And as you can see here, this has some awesome tones in here. So you've got skin tones, some greys, your traditional black and a white. And this is your neutrals collection. So if you're wanting those core colours for your matte and layers and things like that, this is probably going to be a great starting point. This one would be really good for Christmas. I know it's not called Christmas, but for those pine cones with the shades of three here. I'll just turn it over because I can see better than... So you can see the three shades here. Be brilliant for your pine cones, the dark, the light, and then the even lighter. I like this one. It's not my favourite though, but I like this one. So this one is your neutrals collection. Take it off the counter. 
I'm going to have a heavy pile answer by the end. 100395. So let's move down to some bright and breezy colours. It's actually warm today. I hope everybody's okay. I will come and do a shout out. I know I, and you can let me all know where you're all from because it seems to be the thing now. We all want to know where you're all from. We want to know the weather. Um, uh, we want to know if you've got a fridge full of chocolate. We just want to know everything. So you, thanks for tuning in because I'll be asking you that question. The next item on the counter is the summer collection. Now, let me show you the colours in this one. I'll just turn it round. There we go. So let me just see if that's actually showing. So that one is mallard green, that's dark green. But if I turn it sideways, there you go. You can see your colour waves in there as well. I'll just try and flip. There we go. So this is your summer collection. So this is really bright, okay? Bright pink, bright teal, bright green. And then you get a softer pink, a softer yellow, and you get that sort of lovely, lovely purple in there as well. So this one is your summer collection. Again, A4100396. 11.39 if you are in the club. Incredible prices today. So buy the three safe and if you've got them in your basket, don't worry about it. We will make sure that that discount is applied. Don't check out your basket though. It would help if you don't check out. It just gives us time to sort it out because we'll just have to refund you the difference and it's a pain. So stay put, stay put. If you put them in your basket, just leave them be for now. So the next one is your brights. Let me show you these ones. So we've got some blues, some grass green, some limey green, yellow, a pink, a red, a fuchsia and a purple. I would say pink and a red, maybe a red and a burgundy on this one. And again, this is your bright. So let me just tilt it in so you can see what's going on here. So if you like your bright. Really, really lovely. They're all lovely, but buy the colours you know you'll use. 100397-1139 each. And that price applies to all of the Cascade collection. We know that lovely Linda brings us some fabulous card stocks. So you won't be disappointed with these. The next one on the counter is your essential collection. So we have a lovely grey in this one. A grey, a black, a red, a cream, a cornflower blue, a mallard green and an, a white. Let's have a show you here. Excuse me. So the red in this one has has an undertone of orange. It's quite a warm red in this one, okay? So 100398. Let me just turn this to its side. Now, if you're wanting Christmas red, this isn't the red. The Christmas red is in the bright. That's the, that's the Christmas red. This looks like the Christmas red on the front, but we all know that the printing from, red, it does say actually on here, Robin red. Um, but this one in this one is quite orangey red. It's a lovely red, but if you're wanting the Christmas red, that one is in the Brights collection. We all know packaging prints completely different to how they come across sometimes in the packet. So that one is your essential collection, 100398, 1139. And again, if you do pop three in your basket, you will get the buy three, save the 10 when we've sorted it out. Next one on the counter, spring collection, stunning, absolutely gorgeous. So a deep purple, and again, it's a blue, but with a tone of purple. We have a weather yellow, white, spray green, flamingo pink, swallow blue, and plover purple. I'll just turn this to the side here. So I have all of the colours that Linda's done in the collection. There are no repeats, I'm told. So if you like them all and you don't seem to top up. So we've got some dark greys, a lovely dove grey, a lovely cream, a dark purple, a lighter cornflower, yellow, quite a daffodil yellow is that one, very nice, a green and a pretty soft pink. Great for boys and girls cards maybe that one and that one is your spring collection. I'm clearing the counter down and <laughs> helps me out before I'm finished when I need to get the sun from school running out. So let's have a look at the next one. The next one is the winter collection. This is me, I like this because it's got a navy in it. It's got a dark navy blue. It's got a grey. I love grey. As you all know, let's just move this one out of the way. Excuse me. And I'll show you the colours. Now, this one is called the Winter Collection. So this is my second favourite. So we have the autumn one and this is the Christmas one. I just love the blues in here and the greys. And again, you've got enough in here for you to be able to do those, um, you know, those pine cones that we do. <coughs> there we go. You can see it. I just and a really dark grey, which is beautiful as well. So this one is your winter collection. Again, A4, for those of you that are just tuning in, just joining the show, 225 GSM, A4, 40 sheets, eight colours, five of each. 
And the last one in the buy three, save 10 is your pastels collection. Now, again, I'll just turn this around so you can see. So you've got a very soft lilac in this one. So we have the lilac. Let's just have a look. We have owl grey, swallow blue, puffin blue, leaf, leaf bird green, eider vellum, bunting yellow, flamingo pink, skylark violet. There we go. These are actually really lovely. And if you do like your child's cards and... See the colours. Beautiful pastel colours there. 100401. Now they are all eight packs. Part of your buy three, save ten. If you have them in your basket, we will give you the nod when you are can check out your basket. Don't worry. Nobody will hopefully miss out on those. Let's move down the counter. I can see you all talking. Oh, we've got some people on from the USA, which is fabulous. Oh, exciting. Right, what's next? Next item. 100402. Now, Stamped Aegis has been with us for a while now. They have a whole host and a whole range of stamps over on the Thirsty Brush page. Now, if you like what you see right here, check out the Thirsty Brush website because there is lots on there. Um, it's just, how do I describe them? They're different. They're really different. They're like a line art sketch that allow you to create and build, do borders, build a story. They create a beautiful story with the components and the elements, and these are all hand-drawn as well. If you check out the website, we've also got finished samples on there as well, um, tags and toppers. There's some beautiful banners on there as well. So this one is the Stamptagious stamp set, and this is Teacup Pixies, and this one is 9.49 in the club, and it's an A6 stamp set. I'm going to demo these today because I'm feeling like I want to play, and I think they're really, really pretty and really different. I, don't, I haven't seen anything like this before. They are on the craft store as well. You may have seen Leone demonstrating the items as well, um, who is also fabulous. So the next item on the counter is 100403. We have four sets here for you from the Stamptagious team. And this one is called Mushroom, Pixie and Dragon. I mean, come on, look at this dragon here. Look at him. Isn't he cool? If you have a fence die or a wall die and you sat him on the top, it'd look like he'd just perched himself right on the top. And look at the creative characters with the wings and the strings with the hearts on. Really, really different. As a, does, shout out, has anybody seen Stamptagious before? Has anybody got any products from Stamptagious? Let me know. This is the first time they've come to air today. 100403, Mushroom, Pixie and Dragon. A6 stamp set. So the next item... I like this one. I like this one a lot. So this one is 100404, 9.49 in the club, A6 in design as well. And this is Pixie Kisses. And I love a good dandelion. So this one has got the little quirky characters holding those dragonflies. Sorry, those blowing dragon, what are they called? Dandelion clocks, blowing the dandelion clocks. He's even got one on his little stick at the bottom. I'm going to demo this one. I love this one. And I love the arching one at the top where you'll be able to maybe creep it into a moon, really go black with it, really go dark. 100404, 9.49 in the club on this one. And then lastly on the counter, 100405. And this one is all of the components and elements with the sticks and the lights and the the sort of flowers that you can stick into the garden as well and this one's got some beautiful sentiments and it's in it's all handwritten as well so it all fits in beautifully with the rest of the collection dancing with dragonflies once upon a time pixie dust pixie hugs so these are going to be great border builders to build around the corner of a page if you want to um, they're just absolutely adorable. I haven't seen anything like this, and I'm going to have a crafty play this afternoon. It'll be the first time that I've touched them, and we'll have a little bit of a... We won't do a review, should we say, because I know they're a good quality stamp, and I know the lady that designs them as well is incredible, and they are on the craft store. However, it's always good to get something out of a packet, have a touch, have a feel, see where our cards are going, and we can do it together, hey? Why not? So those are the four stamps that are in the show. 100405 for the bottom of the garden. And then we have two more items in the show. Let me just move these down. Having all that cardstock on the counter really, really did cause me a problem today. I've just moved those down. 
So I have next in the collection a set of um, pens, gorgeous pens, can I just tell you. So these are your paint pens by Dilusions. Look at that paint in that barrel, absolutely gorgeous. I know Emma from Thirsty Brush will be screaming at the counter, I need, I need, she loves this sort of thing, she will play, she will understand what you can do with it. But they are basically a paint pen that work on all surfaces, you just take the lid off, press the end down, activate that ink, they are dye based as well, which means you can dilute them out with your water, put them in your spray bottles and be really, really creative. 100406. Now 2499 normally today in studio if you are in the club 1709. And if you have those points, you're gonna get those extra discounts. We don't have a lot of these. Um, we did sell quite a few of these before we've come to air, so we don't have a lot of those. And then lastly, we have a ton of these lovely glossy acts. I mean, oh poor thing on counter like this. Poor thing. So this is your 18 millimeter glossy accents crackle. Okay, so you've seen, you can pop it on the heels of shoes, on bows, and this one gives you that crackle effect. It looks fabulous on the front of um, clocks and things like that. Multi, multi-purpose. I think everybody needs this in the stash. Oh, probably everybody has got this in the stash. 100407, super affordable today if you're on the club 332. That's everything on the counter. Let me get to the other side and do a quick shout out. I always like to get down the counter really, really quick. Enid saying, wow, is that because of the stamps, Enid? They're really pretty, aren't they? I'm, um, I'm going to be really creative with them. So let's just have a shout out and a talk for two seconds. Have you all got your cup of tea? Paint pens, Amanda. Oh, dear. Amanda, excuse me, Amanda does not need any more paint pens. Stop. So... Let's see where you're all from. Where are we all from today? Let me, all, let me know where you're from. What's the weather like? So we have some USA fans on as well. They're all coming through as we speak. It's lovely to see you all. Thank you so much. It has been a busy week or so. So I was on the, I was on the craft store. I keep it, it is creating craft. Why I keep calling it the craft store? I was on Create and Craft for a couple of shows. I came home. I did a Facebook Live at USA last night at 2.30 last night in the morning. Went down an absolute storm. It seems I'm doing okay because they keep asking me to come back. It's always a good sign, isn't it, when they ask you to come back. And then obviously today here in studio, and then I'm back with you on Friday in studio as well. Let's have a shout out. So, hi Marilyn, hi Charlotte, hi Enid, hi Jan, hi David, hi Julie. Julie Stickles are all arriving today. Well done. Have a good old play with those. Hi, Paul. Uh, I haven't slept, Paul, and neither did you because I saw you were watching. Hi, Emma. I hope you're well, sweetheart. Hi, Lynn. Lynn is from Filey in North. What's the weather like there, Lynn? It's quite nice here today. The sun is out. It's a little breeze, but it's okay. We can deal with it. So um, we've got Julie Ainsworth from Leicestershire Blue Skies. We have Irene Smythe, South Dion, and the rain has just started. Ooh. Let's have a look. Denise from the West Midlands, and it's dull. June from the Shire, sunny Scotland, and it's very cold. Yeah, I think Scotland's always cold. Every time I've been, it's been really cold. David Johnson, books is dry, sunny, but a little bit windy. Oh my gosh, Amanda, it's warm where you are because you don't live far away from me. You can't get away from that. Justine is from Nailsworth, Gloucestershire. My gosh, I've got lots of hearts coming up. I hope you're all well. Have we all had a nice weekend? Have you got your cup of tea? Does anybody got a fridge full of chocolate? Anybody live local with a fridge, fridge full of chocolate? <laughs> couple of things to tell you about then. Oh, I'm a giddy keeper today. So I have the winner of the card from last show. So we'll be sending this one out. I have the winner written down on a piece of card here. So stay tuned for that winner. And then, um, just to tell you, um, this lovely stencil, I know a lot of you clicked that notify me when back in stock. You probably have the email. It's back. It's that lovely two bunnies. Um, so these are the samples on the front here. What you, what you can see, this is one of my all-time favourites. So you can be really, really creative with this stencil. So if you missed out last time, I haven't ordered a thousand like last time. So I've ordered what I think I will need. So once it's gone, I probably won't be ordering it again. So if you did click that notify, 
it's going to be fastest finger first. Let me just show you some of the other samples as well. I mean, so, so pretty. They're really different, aren't they? Look at that. I mean, come on. It's, it's gorgeous. Let's just put these in there. Use them in with your stencils if you want to. Be creative with your watercolours. It's a stencil. Look at that one. How cool is that one? David Johnson has a fridge full of chocolate. Okay, it's a date. Where do you live, David? <laughs> and then look at this one with the, the sort of gold on there. Absolutely beautiful. Amanda's got a Cadbury's whole nut chocolate bar in the fridge, but she's not sharing. Amanda. Amanda. And David has bunnies as well. They are so cute. They are. They are amazing. Shall we do some demos? So I'm going to use the one that has got pixie kisses, which is this one here. I might use my stencil as well. It depends how I'm feeling. But you've got these like three cute characters. They'll all look like they're actually in stripy pyjamas, which is actually really cool. And it looks like they've been drawn with a really fine liner pen, which I know the lady, apologies, I can't remember her name does incredibly well and she's already done some beautiful Christmas designs and she's not hoping we're hoping to get here on the channel she um, she has um, she's not poorly as such but she has some things that she has to overcome before she can physically come to studio but I, I'm watching her don't you worry I've got my eye on her to get her in studio when she's fit and well so let's be creative hey so I have a plan I have, I have a mini plan but you know it doesn't always go to plan does it so I'm just going to grab, I've got my nesting dies here, and I'm just going to get one of my little circles, the little, little ones. So let me just grab my card blank. So I was thinking possibly we could, I think I'm going to go with this tiny one here to create sort of that moon. But a little bit different today. I might do the moon off the page rather than on the page. So let's just set that aside. And let's just move our work. So I just have, let's have a look. I have a card blank here. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. So quite a small card today. Then I have two pieces of card stock exactly the same size. Well, she says exactly ish. Okay. And from this one, I'm going to put some colour on and pop it down. And then this one, I'm going to cut a moon. Now, I do like the idea of the moon being off the page because then I'll be able to get more stamps in. Can we see here? When you bring your stamps into play. Right, let's go for it. So I'm going to do the moon off the page. Let's go here, like so. So let's die cut this sort of moon. Everybody's got a circle die. If you haven't, pencil around a lid. Draw around a lid of something and then cut it out. So let's just run this one through here. Now I'm going to pop this on my plate, but I am going to put a piece of cardstock on. I'm going to put an envelope, but no, better not. I'm going to put a piece of cardstock on the top because my plates are just so dirty. I don't want the ink to transfer onto my artwork. Um, yes, that's another thing. Thanks for the reminder. Which lady says, Marilyn, her pencils have just arrived. I have put the pencils back in stock. They went out of stock. I think a lot of you were looking for them last night. There, I've, put, I've loaded some more. So if you, did, if you have been looking for the pencils, they are there. So I'm just running this circle through here. So Jean Hart, Tony, those stamps look so cute. I'm from Newport, Shropshire. Love those bunnies too. They are cute. I'm really excited to have a play with them, really. They do tell a great story. And it's always nice. It's a family business as well, which... I really love, as you all know. Right, let's just get... See what I mean about how dirty my plates were? My gosh. That's... Who, who's... Who does... Whose stamp does that look like? That's um, that's a Simon. Look at that. That's Simon. Who watched Simon's show on Monday? That is Simon. I'm going to have to get in. Mind you, I can't get in because he worked. Do you know what? <sighs> he bought me the most amazing flowers to say, you know, well done for, with the USA. So I can't get in, really. I get it week after when that's worn off. So I'm just taking that off there. Look, so we've got sort of our moon design in our cardstock. Now, don't forget as well, when you get the recess, it's always cool sometimes if you put pads on this and stick this flat behind. Do you know what I mean? So you get the rise and fall, which I might do. We'll see. We'll see. So let's just move this out of the way because I'm not exactly sure where this is going. I have a faint 
sort of picture in my mind. But does cards ever end up that way? I have no idea. Yeah, so if Dorothy, if you pop into website Cute Kisses, that for sale, it'll come straight to the top, sweetheart. Cute Kisses. That's what I'm sending you right now. I hope you're well, sweetheart. So let's have some fun. So we have our sort of semicircle design here, look, which is that it's put that stitch detail on, which I quite like because I think we're going to get a nice bit of texture on our card here. Let's have a look. Just get rid of that tape from the back of my sticky adhesive tape there. Uh, let me just have a look here, see if I've just got a rubber for that. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this on here. So this is the piece that we cut out, okay? I'm just going to lay it on top of my card here. And then I'm going to place that in place and see whether, what do we think? I think because of that mucky mark, I'm not going to get away with it, am I? So let's get some colour on this piece. So what sort of feel shall we go for? Oh, gosh, let's go for a bluey grey moon. So blue first, I'm going to grab my brush. Let me just make sure my brush is clean. Just get rid of the muck out of this brush. Bye, Marilyn. Enjoy shopping. If you just refresh your browser, Tim's just added the stencil to the bottom for you. Dorothy. Welcome to all the USA Facebook watchers as well. We've got quite a lot on. I think it's the most we've ever had on today. Welcome to the channel, everyone. I'm hoping that today you're going to get a little bit of inspiration or maybe just feel happy and be inspired about the lovely ladies and gents that are talking live and me with a smiley face. As long as you bring me chocolate, I'm your best friend. I'm only joking. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up some of this blue ink here and I'm just going to sort of pop a halo on. And as you can see, I've still got a little bit of red on there, but it's fine. So I'm just going for the area where um, I've sort of like got that hole in here. You see that there? it direct it might be a little bit easier so I'm just going in the area where I'm going to see through my aperture and when you pick your aperture up you can see there can we see get it dark I'm going to get it really dark and then I'm going to add some splats and make it look like um like an earth does that make sense? Can we see there? So I've got that lovely dark colour on there. But I would like to just add a little bit of a dark shadow as well. So I'm going to go with a little bit of black. I don't care really if it's quite ugly from this side because it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to sort of ta start on the outside and work my way in. If you got that moon stencil from Funky Fossil last Friday, that would really aid you in this. Just add a bit more blue. Oh, Enid saying hi to everybody from the USA. Thank you, Enid. So I've got sort of a, it has got a blue tone and it's not showing great on, tell it, but it is there. So let's just tidy our station a little bit here. So for those of you who have the cardstock in your basket, still sit put for the time being. What have you got in your basket? I know you're waiting patiently. Thank you. Let's have a look. Uh, Sue saying, sorry she's late. Her husband's poorly. Oh. And she's asking if we're all okay. Susan, don't worry about us. We're absolutely fine. 
Don't you worry about us. I hope you're okay. So I'm just going to add some water to here with my brush just to get that sort of moon effect design here. Give it a chance to activate. Get some tissue. And hopefully it'll sort of pull that colour out. Got that lovely tone of red come through, which is what was originally on my brush. It looks quite cool, actually. So let's just see what happens when we add this. Oh, how cool is that? Really nice. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some white splats as well. So I'll just get a bit of white on my brush here. So you'll get that tone and that texture come through. Let's just dry this off. Oops. Could look nice with some gold splats on here as well, actually. I've got my gold. Got my gold. It's having gold. <laughs> so I'm just mixing some of that lovely gold on here. So always remember, the closer you are to the paper, the smaller the dots you'll get. The higher up you are, the bigger, because they've got longer to fall. Remember that. So let's just clean this off. Now it looks so cool. I'm just going to dry this off very quickly. Now let's be quite creative with our techniques. Now I'm, I'm actually flooding with ideas right now. What's the next step? What's the next step? So let's just move it out of the way. So this is sort of our aperture design, which I'm going to pop straight on. So you're not going to see any of that ugliness. Can we see that there? So that actually looks like a pretty moon, doesn't it? Um, but what I want to do is let's just take these um, out of here. So you can see we've got the three chaps on the sort of dandelion, um, dandelion clock. And then we've got the little chap here. I mean, you, to dress your envelopes as well, these are incredible. If you used um, sort of one of the chaps to seal the envelope, have it coordinating, that would look super cool. So let's just have a look what's, which is my favourite to work with so far. So we could do him like that. Let's go for the big one. And let's just bring in our tool now. What I'd like to do she says. Let's bring in my mucky tool. Oh, Simon's got some answering to do. My gosh. <laughs> Simon, is he what? No, he won't be watching. He's working. So let's just clean this off. I'm probably blaming Simon, you know, and it will probably be last night. What do we think? I bet it won't be. No. No, it won't me. Not on this occasion. Not guilty. <laughs> so let's pop this on here now. I'm going to hold it in place as if it's glued like so. And then we're going to take our chaps here. Now, how do we want him, them to work? I might... Just that just looks gonna look so cool right now what we're we thinking oh so hello <laughs> hi Susan hi Jane these are on a stamped by me USA lovely my gosh there's a few of you on 
I hope I'm inspiring you in some way or another, she says. So what I'm going to do here is a little bit of a cool technique. Firstly, I'm going to stamp in black. Get these lovely sort of little pixies. Oh, they are so adorable. I'd love to live in that world. Welcome to everybody who is new today. We do appreciate you visiting our studio. So excited for you all to come and say hi. We are live most days. So I'm just pushing this down here. Now I'm not gonna move this. Oh, look how cool that looks. That is just amazing. It's not finished yet. Let's just do it one more time. Um, we are live most days. If it's not me, it may be another guest. And we do have spectacular launches once a month. And our ne oh, that's another update for you, ladies and gents. We have our next brand event as well, which is the 8th of April. 8th of April, save the date. Full day of craft. And I know how much you all love the other one. That is just amazing, right? So he's, he's black in there. So what I'm going to try and attempt to do is get my white ink pad and stamp white into this area. Does that make sense? So don't move your cardstock and don't move your stamp. Let me just clean this stamp off a little bit. Oh gosh, I hope you're all okay. So just cleaned the stamp off. Now let's try, I'm gonna try with my white embossing eyes ink here. And I'm just gonna try and get the white it won't matter about the white on top of my black ink, I don't think. But let's try and get the white on the men in the moon. Shall we try that? Try one more time. Might have to use a white embossing ink here. But isn't it cool how it goes from black into the white and then back into the black? If we can get it to do it. Let's keep trying. Oh, Sue says the brand event was brilliant, wasn't it just? Everybody just pulled together. We had a fabulous time. It's not, but what I am going to do, just try it one more time. What I am going to do, let me just shut that, leave that shut so it doesn't dry out. Let me just grab... That's bonding. Oh, I've just got, this is what I'm saying, crafting on, the, on my mind here. I'm absolutely just going for it. I've just had another great idea. Now, let me just see if that is pure white. Yeah, that looks like white. So, it's an, the uh, eyes ink embossing inks are really good. So, I'm just going to make sure I have covered that area in that moon. Well, I'm just mindful now. If I put embossing powder onto this stamp now with that ink on the back if it's not dry the white's going to stick everywhere isn't it mm. I'm not going to do it ladies and gents it's going to spoil my card so back over with the black <laughs> thank goodness I never moved it hey back over with the black Good old push down. That's such a shame as well because this is still what it would have looked. It would have looked ugly, mind you. It would have looked like a fabulous speckled area in the moon. But there is nothing stopping us from putting a clear on. Shall we try clear? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off now. I'm going to move this out of the way. Take this one off. We've got our little figures in there. I'm just going to set that aside. And on this one, I'm going to pop some clear. Let's try. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? See a card through. <laughs> so let's use clear here. And then we're going to... This looks like it's white. I'll just say clear. We'll see. Let's just 
get rid of this one. And we'll heat set that and then we'll have some shiny men on the moon. That'll look good, won't it? It's just a piece of card, David, you're absolutely right. I'll dry this too. It's quite wet with all, I must have stamped it about 10 times. Give it a helping hand. And now let's heat set this one. Oh, I have used white. <laughs> oh, there we go, and it worked. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there, but I um, it does say crystal clear on that bottle. I don't know what's happened. I've got an assassin in the camp. <laughs> Simon will be like, it's not me, it's not me. move this to one side so let's start being let's have a think about where we're going with our card so here we are look oh look at that it looks so cool so we have the dark into the white on the moon then back down to the base here so i am going to raise this one slightly on top of my card wait a second see what it looks like i do like the white on white can we see that there i think that's going to look quite cool that looks awesome right what i am going to do though is let's just get this one flat first of all now if you do like your clean and simple cards you're going to absolutely love this one aren't you so jane saying she's just joined us she's been on the nursery run welcome darling lovely to see you Thank you so much everyone for coming and saying hi. So let's get some glue, she says, on a clogged glue. Come through here. Oh, it's coming. See what I mean? Honestly, honestly. Just take some of that off. So has anybody got any nice plans this week? Anybody doing anything different to what they normally would do? I'll just get a piece of card to pop on the top of that, stop it from going everywhere. Anybody got any nice plans? Let's have a look. Sending love, Charlotte. Sorry to hear that, Charlotte. I'm not, I must have missed that conversation, but whatever it is, sweetheart. Our family to yours, sending love. <laughs> so I'm just getting that stuck. Can you see that? It's looking quite, I mean, it looks a mess at the moment. It looks like a snowstorm. I'm just making sure my card is proper stuck down. And then, hopefully without mucky paws, when we come to pop our card on top, it's going to look quite incredible. Now, I think we could just add a bit more to this so i'm just going to move this out of the way and i have my marker and i'm just going to do a frame on the um, interior of the card i'm not going straight And then I'm just going to go round one more just to give myself sort of that like it was purposely wonky. So is the cardstock still an issue with the buy three save ten? Is it all, is it sorted? Okay. So if you have the card stock in your basket, just sit tight. And when you come to add it to your basket, if it's not added and it's still not showing the discounts, just leave it there until it has been sorted. We're just having a few technical issues, that's all. 
So we have that lovely line. You could actually go around the moon. That would be quite cool too. But I am going to add those pads around. Give it some dimension. So the only colour part is really in that moon, which I think looks really nice. So I'm going to raise this part. Hi, Ali. Ali stay saying she's on uh, Facebook and is saying she's just placed her first order. Welcome to the family, Ali. Thank you so much. That's really kind. Don't forget you can post all of your makes in our fan page as well. We have a lovely encouraging group and a really supportive group too. Now I'm just sort of layering lots of foam pads in here. I'm just going to do some trim down because that part will sink if I don't pad it. And then we'll just take our foam pads off here. Moving those backs. Oh, somebody's off to a concert on Friday. Just missed that lady's name. Lynn's going for lunch, lunch with her daughter. So you've all got some nice plans. If you're not and you're at home crafting, let us know what you're crafting with, what you're doing, what you're being playful with. And I'm going to pop our lovely aperture around our little card here. And I am just going to grab a washi tape sentiment because I think that looks super cool in the black, don't you? What about hello friend? That would look quite cool, wouldn't it? I admire you. Should we just do a little one? I think it's fair to say these stamps don't need much at all, really. I was slightly worried as well when I saw how small they were. But, you know, sometimes doing the smaller cards can be quite cool too. So let's just bring in our envelope here and let's get coordinating. So I'm just going to use one of the stamp sets from the um, same set. And I think I'm going to decorate the front so they know it's not a bill. And I'll just bob it into, in fact, I'll just grab a block very quickly. So I'm going to do this, the front of our envelope here in black. And then the note, the customer or your friend or whoever you've done it for knows it's not a bill. Oh, he's so cool. He's got pointy toes too. We have our coordinating envelope there. And I would probably um, pop this one that says on the seal of our envelope here. And this one says Pixie Kisses. And I would probably seal my envelope with the Pixie Kisses little clock there. So there we have. Let's just move this out of the way. Only took me an hour. <laughs> so I will do this as a giveaway, this specific card. All you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video after I've gone off air. I'll show you the envelope. So there's the little area is look, and then we have our ones in the moon. It's a bit smudged in the moon after the nine million attempts of the stamping, but you get the idea. So use those apertures, and then we have our lovely one on the back as well, just to, you know, so people know it's not a bill. So I will give this one away. Just pop a comment underneath this video when I have gone off air. Tina has son 40th today. Happy birthday to your son, Tina. Tina, I sent you a um, item today, sweetheart, which I'd missed last week it's gone today 
So I hope you're all well. I hope you've enjoyed that little one. And those stamps as well, they're A6, super affordable, £9, £8 if you have those extra discounts as well. So shop ahead. I won't empty anybody's card stock. We have lots of people with card stock in the baskets. I won't empty it. We'll sort out those discounts for you. Keep checking when, they're, when the discounts are applied, you can check out your basket. So whatever you're doing, oh, winner, winner. The winner of is Audrey Irvine, Irving, Iving. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but you are the winner of this card from our last studio. And I will announce the winner from this one on Friday. So Audrey Irving, if you want to let me know your address, we'll get this out to you in the post. There we go. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon, evening, put your feet up, stay cosy, stay safe, eat chocolate, drink tea, drink gin, whatever you're doing. Have a lovely afternoon. See you later, everyone. Bye.